Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Um right. Okay, we sorted this out last time, didn't we with talents and stuff? Yeah. Uh right, what are we gonna do today is have a look. So that one is uh, wherever we find them. We might do that one next. Uh, I think we we'll just work through these. Uh, those ones, I think it's just going to be a case of whenever we get around to them. It's level 15. What are we, 20 something? <laughs> Oops. Actually, no. It's in the main quest. Let's carry on with that. Let's go see uh, Deke. He is up here, so... Surely we had a... Didn't we have a... What are these waypoints inside? It's a bit weird. Anyway, uh, yes, it's been a little while since I last played this, so um, forgive my noobness. If I'm playing this now. That's still, still so cool. I'm actually tempted to just go in and just wander around the world. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing! And this might be our perfect opportunity just to run around and kill stuff, capture stuff, gather some materials, random across. Uh, wonder across random stuff. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. So we can't get, her, uh, can't get over how good this looks. We have arrived. Okay. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. Puffskeens? It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskeen, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, so simple enough. Ah, oh, I guess spell set. Um, let's go for on that one. Combat daily. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Uh, Wait, did I just... Oh, that is, okay. Lumos. Wait, 
Why won't? Oh, I'll oh, hover over it and I pick it. As I say, it's been a while since I played this last. Got him. You got one. I got two. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. A what? Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. That's Deke fine. will meet you there whenever you're ready. We'll deal with poachers in no time. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna run. Rebellion. Kites. Um, I did say that, but okay. Oh, I heard they fixed this, by the way. Yeah, it does seem a little bit much smoother. Okay. Oh, I shall enjoy this. It's no talent. I'm sorry, what are you going to enjoy? It's shameful what you've done to help me. These are now. It's like there's power things, Deke. isn't Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Okay. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Aww. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Rebellion. Let me use it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, cut. 
Oh, fell off the edge then. There, there. Not going to hurt you. Okay, we're good. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Okie dokie, let's go. Uh, that's item selection, that's aim, isn't it? Okay, L1 is to throw out or use items. Actually, do I have an invisibility potion? No, I don't. Uh, was that one of my quests? Yeah, use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunder bro potion against enemies. Okay. I don't have one of them either. Um, was it mandrake and venomous tentacular? Okay. That one. Just in case we get into the next fight. There's multiple people, I'll try and change that to a Mandrake and then uh, do it. Hello Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So Unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Oh, I do have time. Uh, a How way did you to change time, that is. After working for your former master. Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Aww. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. That's just the map. Night time. There you go. Hey, there they are. Levioso. Got it. Everything's all right. Should take my friend. Do cooperate, won't you? Let me know, sir.
take two because I want to take him a little friend. So they're not alone. Oh dear. Deke thinks perhaps it was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Hmm. Guess this means we can have a little wander around. Although, haven't we been up here before? Rebellion. Uh, do that and then that. Thank you. Why keeps doing that? Uh, what was the boost again? Oh, that one. Really? Ah, oh, we're gonna have to do it the uh, old fashioned way then. Hey, there you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Uh, I need a place for uh, room carbs and... Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Uh -oh. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Meet you inside when you're ready. Whoa. Oh man, I love magic. <laughs> Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home.
So we'll start eating each, each other. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. Oh, nice. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. quite adorable. <laughs> oh, he likes that. some food as well. Alright, did I get everyone? Uh, where'd the birds go? Oh, up there. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, oh. making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go clothes. and experiment with the loom now. to do. Materials can be used to, on the looms to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. That's how I get traits then. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. Uh, 
it's the ones I'm wearing are highlighted, I'm guessing. Like that one, that one, that one, that one. Ooh, I can upgrade defense plus six. Is that everything now? I need Rupert Feathers and Minka Festral Hair, uh, Niffler Fur. That came out nicely. I should nice. show Deke. Oh, I'd like to ask you about changing the rooms out. Of course! Yeah. No, I don't actually want to do it. Actually... Wrong button. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will! By rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Okay. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. I kind of feel like I should not bother with that until I get to endgame. So got four question mark ones to do still, which is probably going to be like these. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Or Dick that. thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Uh, actually, I haven't brewed any potions. Dick cannot I? believe how many beasts you have here. Nothing to identify, for now at least. Ooh, I can't brew one. Awesome. Just wait for this to be done. Then I'll get that other potion and then we can do another quest. Uh, I need Thunder Brew. Lumos. Actually, what do I have on here? Ringo. And Expelliarmus. I've got all these incendio damage upgrades and I'm not even using it. Ah, oh, I haven't got a 
fruit. Okay. Deeks hasn't so... seen this many plants here before. Whoa, it's got its own little rain cloud. <laughs> That's too good. Uh, right, where are we going anyway? Not oh, literally there anyway, and I. Uh, right, let's have a quick look through here. What we got new? send you one there shouldn't I to Sebastian because he's going to give me all the awesome spells as far as I'm aware. Uh, Travels are there. Actually, I think there was a travel point in the hall, wasn't there? Ah, oh, well. Ooh, is it Halloween? <gasps> I think it's Halloween. Rebellion. No dings. Yeah, this one here, look. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. Yeah, I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. I won't give up. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Dark arts are dangerous, but... Curious. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Yes. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus curse. Also known as the torture curse. 
inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. That's awful. But no matter the circumstance, he should never have cast it. He should have known better. No, no, Trust me, one. it's not as easy as you might assume, thinking straight when you've been hit with Crucio. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Ooh, can we le learn it? I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. I want to learn the Cruciatus curse. I don't want to learn the Carruccio. I hope I get to learn it soon. Divination. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. <laughs> He just sneezes into his cup. Oh dear. Professor Omai is so knowledgeable. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow. Of course now, you did. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see power. I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills, and you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. Awesome. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your target. Boom. Dang. 
You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Uh, where are you? At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. Hmm. I got push, pull, levitate. God, oh, there's too many spells. Uh, hide. Let's put that as incendio for now. Stop, freeze. Sendo. Jeez, huh? Right, what's next? Uh, astronomy class, I guess. I should stop probably uh, fast traveling everywhere, but I also kind of feel like I need to because running around like takes a lot. Fly through the main storyline. No pun intended. If I'm on it, Ooh, it's one of these doors. Oh, um, where did I put down the thing? Oh, I suppose that's something to boast about. Right. Got this somewhere. Uh, so five, three, so I need a two, which is going to be it. Goat looking thing. Yeah, that. Uh, 12, so it's 4, 5. Need, uh, thermite looking thing. Is it that one? I think it's that one. Nice and easy once you get the key. Rebellion. This is Festral's room, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if I like this. Alohomora.
Revelio. Oh, wait, is it? Hmm. Dear Professor Shah, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anomalies. Maybe a perfect addition to the atlas I am hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if I decide to include your submission or any of its related research in the publication. With regards, MPN Carnerius. I think that's how it's pronounced. The people I feel sorry for are the ones who don't. Uh, this is a good reason why you should run around instead of teleporting everywhere. Revelio. Mm, anything? That's no, a rumor requirement, isn't it? Nope. The Pinch Smedleys will always oh. look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Eh. Spooky. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been here before. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. No offense, I've only just started like, first lesson with you. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <laughs> Dismissed. Well, I mean, if it is cold out and freezing cold out there, then uh, the sky should be Hello. clear. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, that's nice of him. I can't do that, Armit. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. No. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Uh... Oh, 
Oh, I see. It's down here. This was his old telescope. <laughs> That's practically brand new. Yeah, well, some people, like myself, <sighs> like to take care of their stuff. A night for stargazing. Do not let it be. Right, I need to go find him tonight. Aha. The perfect night for... Oh! I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Okay. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Wait, where are we going? Yeah, it's exciting. No need uh, to convince adventure. me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? I guess so. We're leaving the school at night. Is that allowed? I didn't think that was allowed. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for Lumos. stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. And the it's school. not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little for something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. It's not gonna be, is it, if it hasn't been in there for not that very long? Revelio. Incendio. More cobwebs. Lumos. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, yep. no. Not this close to school, I mean. Oh, not them big spiders anyway. You should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Oh, I see. There you go. Match them up. Wait, where else would we see one of these? In the I garden, was right it? about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Okay. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. Oh, thanks, You're welcome. Dude. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Say something, gobbledygook, when I hear... Man, we're gonna. F How many quests are we gonna have? There's so many.
Right, I need Wingardium Leviosa for that, which means I need to use a Venomous Tentacular and a Mandrake on multiple enemies. So let's go find some bad guys. This way. Is it just a dead end? Ah, dead end. Uh, best place to find some bad guys. Bit in forest, maybe? Looks like they're huge, doesn't it, from the ground now? <laughs> always looked quite small when I was uh, flying around it. Actually, let's make our way to there so we can do that one, and if we find anything on the way. We can uh, do that one as well. We'll do it a long way, though. Um, in fact, let's just save it here. Let's start at the top. That'll do. And this is where I will leave it today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Plus, it helps me out uh, so I know what I'm doing okay. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.